Can we squeeze <gasps> in with y'all? No! No! This I told is you not the last five cool. minutes. This is not cool. No! No! That's Go back to your problem. seat. Get back. Where's the water bottle? No! 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 Okay, hi everybody. Thanks for coming back if you've been here before, or hi, welcome if you're new. My name's Mickey. I'm a therapist, and we talk about their busy things on this channel. This is different. We're doing something new because this is Aaron. Hi, everyone. <laughs> you guys, um, you have heard Aaron and like sort of met him, I guess, before. Um, but we decided because I have received no less than like several dozen DMs from you guys on Instagram, um, and I've seen the comments on on YouTube and stuff. We're talking about the fucking ultimatum today. I remember when we were like, oh, we're not going to watch that show. No, literally. We decided. I was like, I'm fucking lachéed out. I don't want to do it. And then here we are. Not Vanessa, though. Are they the hosts of this? Yeah. Phew. Fucking disaster twins are at it again. So we were talking about um, season one, episode one today. I don't know if we're going to combine the episodes. We might. I mean, you're the editor. Everything's up in the air. Anyways, we um, are going to talk about it together because you guys seem to enjoy Aaron's commentary last time. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. He was sitting on the floor and it was really hurting his tailbone. Um, and so this is our podcast set up. So we figured we would just record it in here and like really do the damn thing. The things. sacrifices so you, we make. Yeah. So you guys can actually meet him too. So. <laughs> that was a cute. All right. Thing they know the seen. deal. We're yeah. here to watch TV. React. Really quick. As a caveat. This is my person. I love him uh, more than anything <laughs> oh, on the face of the planet. And so if you guys are fucking mean to him in the comments, I'm going to be so fucking upset at you. And I'll just never do this again. <laughs> I'll call him my whole and edit videos until I die, I guess. Please be nice. Everyone is allowed to have an opinion, but please voice it constructively and let's not attack anyone. I'm probably going to say something. I can just well, edit it out. If I say something problematic, I'll just yeah. edit it out. It's not even so much that, but just like don't come for my husband, please. Okay, thanks. Love you the most. All right, cool. Let's watch the show. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Do not touch the computer with your foot. <laughs> like Spongebob. I am worth her whole heart. And if she can't see that, I need to find somebody else who can. Kick her to the curb, bro. Stop! <laughs> I think it would be best to just be able to get rid of some debt that I have in my past um, in order to have a great life for her. That's ultimately my reason, but she doesn't okay. understand that. I don't want to think about if I she believes me. I feel like this should all be happening in couples counseling. I decide not, not to marry her right on a now. Fucking TV show. She but feels hey. like she's ready for marriage, and I've honestly turned that down more times than not because I know that I'm not, and I know that. Honestly, I don't think she is. Marriage in her mind is just a huge wedding, just super flashy. She's a spender, and I feel like that kind of has to be broken before you bring kids in, before you want to have a marriage, and join a life with somebody who is very financially conscious. Let's be honest, fear of commitment almost always... Well, we're pausing it. This is the first <laughs> official pause of the ultimatum. The, stop. These are, like, actually very serious issues. These are like core life perspective issues that are really important for people to be on the same page about. I agree with you that these are things that should be happening in couples counseling because these are things that would be really helpful to air out with someone who's like an objective mediator because the truth is that marriage is a good fit for some people, but it's not a good fit for all people. Um, and also, marriage does not necessarily equal monogamy. Marriage does not necessarily equal tying your finances together. Marriage does not necessarily equal having kids. Marriage does not necessarily equal cohabitating. And there's a lot of really useful unpacking to be done there about like, what exactly does that mean? Which of those values are, are deal breakers or non-negotiables for you? And which of those are you willing to like move a little bit or compromise on? But Nick and Vanessa Lachey are not the fucking people who are helpful to do this with because they have a vested interest in people getting married and like doing the thing. Like clearly they're committed to this idea of like marriage equaling monogamy and shared finances and like the sort of love marriage baby carriage thing. And so there's like, again, this like this is Netflix, Netflix's fucking signature move of like pressuring people and putting them in this pressure cooker environment of like trying to force them to choose the outcome that makes the best TV instead of the outcome that's best for their lives. And I don't fucking like this. Do you know what actually is the best mediator for relationships? 
What? Alcohol, baby. No! Yeah, what? we're gonna make it no, right. No, it's fucking not. Watch what's gonna happen. They, These people are already in, like, this weird yeah. headspace, and I feel like we're getting ready. I, I, the alcohol get is coming around the corner, and it's gonna get rough. They already have wine cups in their hands. Really quickly. Can you press play? Cause my The first official press play. Oh, this would be the second official press play. Yeah. Can you press oh. play? Boils down to the exact Sorry for same to question. Myself. Is there someone else out there who might be a better fit? This is gonna go so poorly. This is a once yeah. in a lifetime opportunity. Take a good look around at each other. Oh, so we're like swinging. Each of you are compatible <laughs> with multiple different partners and you guys are like, all thinking about marriage in a like really, really with intensive a way. With like a more. You're gonna find out twist. if there are people here other than the person you're with that actually could be a fit for you as potential means, that's her, like... as potential marriage material. <laughs> do you like Vanessa? You're not sure. I, you do. Do. I, I, the I might. OK, shit. They're going to find someone else who is. I'm not ready to propose to Alexis at this moment. But if I met the perfect person, I would be ready to be engaged tomorrow. Psychologists agree an ultimatum is not a good way to get somebody else to do what Pause. you want. But it is the best way. We need to figure out a better system. Oh, I'm going to get a stick. For this. <laughs> Should we get a stick now? Do we have a pen or something? Nope. I'm going to find a thing. No, please release give me. One, me. Give me one second. I'll be right back. You just entertain the people. I'm cutting this out. Hey, please. This is what the dogs must feel like when we're gone. I'm just lost in a drift at sea. Those are good sticks. I Give me one. All right, genius. our official sticks. <laughs> the first official sticks of the ultimatum. Oh, the fucking pen. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The, this, this is dangerous, me having this thing. This is a terrible plan. I feel like, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this video is going to be so long. God damn oh, it. Oh, I'm so fucked. Uh, um, the uh, insinuation that, uh, what? <laughs> it's not that nice. Anyways, um, the thing that I wanted to talk about here is the insinuation that forcing your partner into making the decision to marry you is like a acceptable or feasible decision for like a happy long-term outcome. Um, yeah, no. I, I don't want to say that this can never work for people because I'm sure that it has. I'm sure that it continue to. But the the thing about this is is that like it feels a little bit like someone making a decision under duress and it can be kind of a weird power imbalance in a relationship. It's not that ultimatums are always bad necessarily, but it is important, I think, to honor that like telling your partner either you marry me now or we're not being together anymore can make someone feel some type of way and you're like potentially forcing their hand. And even if they do say yes, they might not be doing so from a, a place of like conscientious informed consent. And so like that really raises some questions about like long-term happiness, about whether they're making that decision from like their own true place of desire. Like we just really run into some power and control issues there. I feel like it's like backing someone up into a corner for like, for what? And I think it's also important, like it, it's different to say, hey, like, you know, maybe the idea of like marriage with monogamy and cohabitating and kids and shared finances is important to you. And so like that one woman was saying, like, I want to make sure that we're working towards that. Like that's different. Like having a conversation that includes like making sure that our life paths are on the same direction. It's like a goals thing. Like couple, yeah. couples goals. That's like, super yeah. fair, you know? But saying like we're either getting married like now or not at all yeah. is like it's different. It feels different. So best oh, way so to get you the answers fun. you need on a timetable you can live with. I like that. I, I always said I was gonna be that girl that would never give a man an ultimatum and it was, I was 29 and she I was, was like. She was lying, is what she So <laughs> five years later, things changed. But look what it got me. Hey. I don't like, I don't we like dated her for five. Now how it worked for you, teach me. <laughs> this hand is Don't encourage yet. this. <laughs> so since you won't do it, I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, we're pausing it every 10 seconds now. The other thing about this that's interesting to me is this attitude of our relationship is illegitimate unless we are married. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, or chill. like we can't have kids until we're married. 
Because both of those things are a fallacy. Both of those things are driven by this idea of the relationship escalator. And and you don't have to structure your life in a way that doesn't work for you. You know? There are so many people who have perfectly valid and happy and healthy relationships <laughs> that don't include <laughs> that don't include marriage or children or like like I said, cohabitating or shared finances. Ben and Christine from Simply Neological are like my favorite example of this. They've talked openly about how they have no desire to get married. They're not married now. They don't want to get married ever. They don't fucking care. And they're super fucking happy. It doesn't change your, like, ultimately, other than, like, legal purposes and yeah. stuff, honestly, like... Yeah. If, if the legal benefits are important to you based on whatever your um, environment is, like, for us here in America and, like, in the state that we live in, it matters. So, like, I cared, you know? Okay. But, like, depending on your location, if it doesn't matter for you, then, like, it's a perfectly valid choice. And I think this attitude of like we won't have made it as a couple until we get married in my opinion kind of reeks of low self-esteem a little bit and like i it don't matter enough until someone has like done the thing well it feels like to me it almost feels like more of the title than it is the person yeah like, especially the guy who's like oh if i met the right person tomorrow like yeah like, you don't know like yeah like i care more about having a ring on my finger Paul than more about a relationship rest with that relationship yeah yikes so tonight is your last night together as a couple. At the end of the week, you'll each choose a new partner. You'll move in together for three weeks in a trial marriage. Then you're going to go through exactly the same experience with the person you arrived here with. What does that mean, Seeing trial the marriage? other five women that Jake's gonna date, there's a part of me that wants to grab Jake Pan and run. I wanna say I'm not fans at all, but it is a little bit nerve wracking. Many of you are gonna feel like you're falling in love. Some of you may find yourself in love with two people. And that could seem confusing or even overwhelming. And let me tell you, it will be. But great. That's We're the gonna whole give point. you no tools to Absence work through this. Pretty much. Can make the heart Best grow fonder or absence can make the heart grow absent. And the choice you will each make at the end of this wow. process. What a philosopher. It shouldn't be an easy one. That's next for you. And at the end of this experience, the ultimatum will come to term, and you guys will have to choose to marry the person you've arrived here with or to split forever. Or is there someone new that's a better fit? They're strangers Ew. now, but you could be looking at your future husband or wife. Let's Anyone from the other couple might turn out so to be again. exactly what you're looking for. With we this, want like, all of you have to, to get married here, thing. engaged to the person you know you want to spend the rest of your life with. Why? The right person for you to marry. Why? Like this one. There are so many fucking ethical issues. We are never finishing this. I'm so. sorry, but I can't not talk about. No, this. no, no, you should. I'm just saying they're making their. It's not us. It's them. Like. We're never finishing it. The expectation is actually that everyone will leave this show having been married. It feels like a high expectation since their record is like two couples a series. But also, even if the couples who originally came here together do decide that they want to be together at the end of this experiment, why do they have to get married? Because if you're not married, then did it really even matter? Boy. Was, did that hurt? <laughs> no. Is my forehead red? No. It's great. beautiful. Oh, thank you. Are you going to marry me now or what? I already did that. <laughs> this is some... I love you. Okay. Enjoy hey. this last You just hit the shit out of your head. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Good luck, guys. Okay. So why did you hand me this? I'm just going to... Oh, you. look. Oh, girl. This is like a swingers... It's like a swingers yeah. thing. This is like very fun. Okay to put your foot down and not How would you know? And say this is I don't know. I would imagine... Okay, in my head, what I've had pictured. <laughs> so you just think you're cutting it. I'm cutting it. <laughs> yeah, I'm willing to explore Randall a little bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Woohoo! This is gonna be messy. Let's get messy. Yeah, it's an Bring engagement or breakup. We have. My name is April, and I'm giving my boyfriend Jake an ultimatum. I just want a ring, and I want a baby with you now. <gasps> See what Whoa. I said about the title? Whoa! See where this takes us. And the like, doing the thing. The chances of to do the thing for the sake of doing the thing. Also, 
getting married and then having a baby immediately is a pretty intense jump. Those are two major life changes. Not that marriage like really changes that much necessarily, like logistically, but I do feel like, especially for these people, my back is just, don't you fucking judge me. Listen, if you give me a tool, I'm going to use it. I didn't give you the tool. I feel like for these people, there's probably going to be like a pretty significant emotional shift. Like we talked about that with the love is blind where after the show is over, there's probably a lot of emotional fallout because this is super fucking overwhelming. So overwhelming. But you want to like get married, have a baby and try and recover from being on fucking reality TV all in one. Jesus Christ. Drake finding someone is interesting in this personality. Okay, but everyone in the comments always says that. To help our Rip to my space bar. I love you. I love you. Me kiss. Mm, my name is Jake. My girlfriend, April, has given me an ultimatum. April has shown me what love really is. She's my best friend, and I do want her to be a part of my life till I die. We talked about getting married from the jump. Do you understand, like, the stuff that we've invested in each other or stuff like husband and wife do? Yes, we invested We're a not a husband and wife. You bought me a car. I just don't understand if we're not married, why would you buy me a car? Because I baby. care about you. The whole reason I wanted an SUV, because like I pictured car seats in the in the mm -hmm. second and third row. Did I not? Mm -hmm. What did you tell the dealership? Like she wants her mom car. Mm -hmm. I'm driving this big ass SUV with nobody in the back seat. And but I, have myself. I done anything to prevent that? No. no. I've literally dropped everything, like given up everything I'm passionate about to make sure you're happy. It's just I just got out of the military a year ago. I want to travel. I want to have fun. I want to be financially stable. I know that you just got out of the military, but you've been out for, what, a year and a half. Before you got out, we almost eloped. We were in love with each other. So we were like, this is what we want to do. I still am. I feel like I've been very, very patient. For two years? What are your reserves? Because it can't just be your timeline or wanting to be financially stable. I'm hoping with this experience, I can date around, get better clarity Ooh. on what you want from another perspective so I can give you everything you need. Or do I want to lose you? No. Do, do I love you? Yes. I, I really do love you, 100%. You, I've never had this feeling with anybody else. I see me being with you for the rest of my life. And I think that's why it hurts because I feel like I'm ready and you're not. I'm not going through another three year relationship to end in nothing. There it is. That is why I'm giving this ultimatum. I love you to death, but I just cannot wait any longer. And if you don't have that clarity by the end of this experiment, I will be done. Several things that we need to unpack there. I don't even fucking know where to begin. A. I'm glad it's your show and not mine. <laughs> okay. A, 23 years old, is super young to be having conversations about marriage and babies and, and all of this stuff. And I, I don't want to be, like, demeaning. I recognize that there are people watching this who are probably that age and younger, who are parents or want to be parents, and everyone is allowed to make their own life decisions based on your own factors and, and whatever. Like, I respect that and I get that. However, I think the insinuation that, like, we're 23 and we're so old and we've waited for so long is like a little bit disingenuous, especially knowing that he got out of the military a year ago and that there is a lot of life experiences that he wants to have. Like that's super valid. And the other thing that like sticks out to me about this is the thing that she said about like, I don't want to invest in another three year relationship that ends in nothing. And so that's why I'm giving you an ultimatum. To me, it sounds like her expectation is that marriage equals not being able to be left behind. This is a trauma response. Well, I don't know that. We don't know these people. I don't know anything about their real lives or their actual emotions. I want to be clear, we're not diagnosing anybody. We're not speaking with any absolute certainty about anyone's emotional state because this is a very highly edited TV show that Netflix has a vested interest in, in carefully curating. Clearly. However, if someone were to say something like this to me in a clinical setting, this to me would read very much like a trauma response where the person is viewing the institution of marriage as a way to try and protect themselves and as a way to try and prevent a person from leaving. We do this all the time. Like this is very human. It's not a shameful thing. It's not something that we should like vilify or label as like shitty or bad. However, this is like kind of flawed logic because A, divorce is a very real thing that does happen and also is like statistically higher in military populations. I don't mean to be that guy, but like 
It's true. And also, there, I think, is a conversation to be had about whether it is more, uh, like, a, a better use of time and energy and emotional real estate to be working through that trauma and to be having conscientious conversations about, like, I want to feel safe. I want to feel committed. I want to feel like you are, you know, in this for the long haul with me. Um, and how do we get that feeling in a relationship outside of these sort of like identifiable like labels and things? How do we create that environment in a relationship? Um, and like, what are the behaviors that are happening maybe that are making her feel that way if any at all? And if there aren't any, then that's just purely her own trauma work that she needs to work through and that's her own emotional stuff. And so if that's the case, no label or like legal status is gonna make her feel more safe or more secure. She's gonna continually feel this sense of waiting for the other shoe to drop. And like, that's a problem, you know? Like that's not something that will go away. We, like I said, we do this all the time in life where we seek these external means of validations to try and, and make ourselves feel safer, better, um, more valuable, just like, you know, more secure, whatever. And it's a losing game because the, the work to be done is with you. Um, and not with trying to find some like magic bullet that will like fix the thing that that's not how it works. Unfortunately, I can speak from like clinical experience and what we know from the research, it doesn't work that way. If you have this nagging sense of not being enough, there is no amount of external validation that will make you feel like enough. It's work that you need to do for yourself. So this has trouble written all over it. I know for a fact, I love you more than anything, but there are some things that we can't get past what? Like the kid thing. The... I believe in compromise in a relationship. I don't believe in sacrifice. And I don't want to think of children as a sacrifice. I want to think of it as like... But if you, if you don't want to have kids, and I'm saying I do want to have kids, then, okay, we're compromising and we're gonna have a half kid? No, like, I'm... You know what I mean? Like, so you're saying that we shouldn't have sacrifices, though. No, I'm, I'm saying, I, what I'm trying to say... Should. Let her finish! Her Fuck! <laughs> Sorry. My name is Lauren, and my boyfriend Nathan is giving me an ultimatum. I don't want children. I feel kind of awkward interacting with children sometimes. I'm just... I don't know. It's something that I've never really felt needed to be a part of my life. I think that ultimately you should be with somebody who shares similar wants and needs in life as you. I don't think that anybody should have to sacrifice anything for another person. And Nathan definitely knows where I stand when it comes to how I feel about children. If we can't come to that agreement, then ultimately we will have to break up. I definitely want to get clarity from this. Like, that's the point. Like, I'm here to find clarity for our relationship and figure out, like, hey, is this something that we can move past? Or is this something, like, this probably just isn't right? And you, you need to find someone who can agree to have children with you. Hey, Spooky conversation. Are, are we in a haunted house? Spooky. The fuck? B. Why are we doing this here, again, with Nick and Vanessa Lachey, who, again, don't have, like, any degrees or credentials, expertise in this subject, instead of doing it in couples counseling? Well, because if you call it, like, a, an experiment, then it's, like, fun, and when shit hits the fan, it's like, oh, it's just an experiment, who really cares, you know? We don't give a shit about these people. I don't understand why they would choose to come here... Because even if you like can't afford couples counseling or something, why would you not just make the choice to take a break from the relationship and date other people and see how you feel? Or like, there, like there's so many options before coming on the ultimatum and having a spooky conversation in a haunted house hotel about whether you want to have children or not. Um, this is gonna ruin everything, but I would imagine this is a scripted conversation that they're probably probably pro I don't know how to say words. Probably. Probably being prompted to by the producers. But still... Like, I don't disagree. I don't disagree at all, obviously. Like, the other couple, I kind of understand why they were drawn to this experiment, because the whole draw is, like, at the end of this, you're getting fucking married to somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that girl, I kind of get, her, like, her motivation to do this. But, like, what are these people's... What's their vested interest in getting married to... Like, what? Let's find out. I'm so confused. Children with you. Mm hmm I agree. I want to get married. Ah. Anyone oh. that I would think about 
marriage with, especially Lauren, would have to be willing to have children and to, to grow a family and together. This is what you want to, so just take If Lauren's not ready to marry me, yeah. then I'm absolutely gonna find someone that, that is. She's like, hey, he's like, I just need an incubator if you don't mind. No, like, literally. Are we not? Am I? Is it just me? Is, that just, is, this, is, this, is this? Is this? I don't like it. I don't like him. My name is Ray, and I'm giving my boyfriend Zay an ultimatum. We have dated through college, and I have graduated, and I have everything planned out in my life. My next steps, my next career move. Just isn't that kind of how it goes, you know? College, then. Proposal, then babies, then. Oh, she is on that honeymoon in Cancun. Later, baby. Yeah, no, that's not how it works. Nervous. So, what is one thing that you want to get out of hanging with and spending time with different guys? I might try to find somebody who's the opposite of you and just kind of see how that goes. Hmm. I don't know. How do I you guess we'll just have to see who we click with. How do you think that would help you, though? Maybe just seeing if the grass is greener and reminding me the qualities that I really do love about you. Why would you pick somebody that's total opposite of me and you're trying to you're trying to make it work with me? I thought that was the whole point of this experiment was to just like date somebody different and then come back to our original like pairing. Right? I mean, to the date experience to me is to see who the person I want to marry. That's why you are picking who you're dating. Mm -hmm. Not me. We came here as a couple, but at the end of the day, it's about figuring out what's best for us mm -hmm. as individual people. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If Zay's not ready to take that next step and start our family and our careers and move into this next part of our lives, I'll have to move on. I would be sad to start over, but I'm not scared to start over. I think that there is someone for everyone, and I think that a lot of people would be happy to be with me. I want to make yes. it work with you. But You're the woman that I want to have my kids and to live and grow old with. If I don't leave here with you, like, I just, I don't know, I feel like I would just lose everything I've been, everything. Although we put in the last two and a half years. And I think our yeah. friends and family would be really sad if we didn't walk out of this experience together. Who gives a shit about them? They're not in a relationship with you, sorry. Yeah, sorry. It's hard to think about. Ray just graduated from college and I'm still, you know, um, trying to graduate. Like both of us want, want kids, both of us want to get married, but the problem is this honestly feels like my first, you know, real relationship. We're both still trying to figure things out. We can't rush Not getting her. into a marriage. She got it all figured out. I mean, you're everything to me. Like, like you changed me in a in a lot of ways. You helped me to understand like things just that I I didn't understand mm -hmm. about life. I hope that the connections that you make ultimately help us, and that we walk out of here engaged. That's my goal for this experience, but I mean, we'll see how it goes. I just, I can't stand her. I, what? I'm allowed. That's my opinion. That's I can't stand fair. her. You're not the therapist. You can think whatever. I you personally want. can't stand her. <laughs> I will say Netflix is setting up some very clear character archetypes here. Like she's very much the like planner, committed to the the like thirty year plan person. We have like the sort of trope couple where like one wants kids and the other one doesn't very have, main character yeah, yeah like we just have like this sort of we're making the rounds here i do want to encourage anyone though if you're watching the show and feeling just kind of weird or othered or left out please know that it is always valid and always okay for you to structure your relationships romantic or platonic in a way that feels safe to you in a way that feels authentic to you and that there is a whole wide world out there of relationships and other people who want to have relationships that look like yours or look like the way that you that want don't your look relationships like this. yeah please know and understand that netflix is representing what they view to be the majority or like the the sort of mainstream relationships but that's not how all relationships have to look and it is very much okay and valid for you to choose a relationship structure that is different than this and for that to be like perfectly okay and you don't owe anyone a fucking explanation for that either nobody so i feel like judge judy right now <laughs> i feel like she harry potter to... <laughs> you're harry potter and i'm judge judy she must have felt so much power she was an awful sure. person wasn't she was she Pretty sure she was. I want to turn it out. Right. We'll have to Google that. I want to do it. Okay. I That's just like, I want to know I did that more so about nicely. Like, how you actually feel about me. You know.
I see you being my husband, and I hope that this experience shows you that you want me to be your wife. That's all that we're looking okay. for. Okay, Ray. I mean, when mm -hmm. it comes to you, I can talk about you forever and tell you exactly how I feel. And when it's you, with you, just like super closed up. Uh huh. That's not like she's yeah, like either matter. you're on it or I'm out of here. With like that, she, I, I mean, if you, if it's not, okay, you're and, just a person. You're being, if you're emotional and you feel some type mm. of way, this is it's what not, I'm it's just about that's, the title. that's why I'm your man, right? For you, when you, when you're emotional, and you want to talk to somebody, you can talk to me. That's what I'm here for. Tomorrow you're gonna be dating other guys, and they're like, "Oh, how you feel? Are you gonna are, are you gonna spill to them, or are you just are you just gonna be set off to everybody else too?" No, well, I guess that's something that I have to work on. I guess that's why we're here because we. No, oh, this is not the place to work on it. Can you explain why you love Zay and why you think he's somebody that you coming into this want to marry? Um. I smell blood. Here it comes, like a shark. I think, I don't know, can we skip that question yep. and come back to it? She has done no work. This is just a title thing. This is just a title thing. She has not taken any thought, either she doesn't want to, or she doesn't want to be honest and truthful, or she's not asking herself these questions. Yeah. Like, why do you want to be married? Wait, I have a professional opinion. I don't think that's what it is. What? Why did she? What? What are we? What are we working with here then? What are we? I think. On me? I think it's an insecurity thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's again like a similar thing. Again, I want to be clear. We don't know. Highly curated. Uh, fuck. Uh, not I speaking know. with any uh, level of certainty. I'm sorry. I have no, no it's certainty. Okay. You're, you're not the therapist. It's fine. You can do whatever you want. I get um, to fuck off. <laughs> but um, again, if this were something that was happening in front of me in a clinical setting, my suspicion would be that there's a level of insecurity here um, and potentially relationship trauma that's caused this person to close themselves off and to put up defensiveness and, and like some protective walls against other people and especially against emotional vulnerability. If you notice the conversation that they just had, he voiced some emotional vulnerability and he gave her several bids for connection where he's, he kind of Very obvious. Her. Yeah. Yeah, he was, that was like very well done, honestly. Yeah, um, and she continued to come back to the same phrase over and over again. She was looking down. She wasn't making eye contact. Her body language was very closed off. She was very like receded into herself. Oh, Logan, and she chill seemed, over there. The, I, Long channel. I also kidding. understand things about body I'm language. Kidding. I love it. You're it's doing part of my degree program. I know. I love it. But on, she was going. like <laughs> very not expressive or engaged in the conversation. These are all things that like therapists are trained to look for as like, hold on, stop fucking asking questions because you're making somebody fucking uncomfortable. Um, not that Zay did anything wrong, by the way, but like as as a clinician, when you start to ask too many questions and somebody starts to like do this number, the training is that you're supposed to like pause and let let the room breathe like and give a person breathe. room to like feel comfortable with you again. And sometimes you can call it into the room and be like, hey, I'm noticing that I'm maybe making you uncomfortable. Am I probing? Am I asking you too many questions? Should we back up? Maybe we'll talk about something more surface level until we can build some more trust. The verbiage I always give my clients is you have carte blanche to tell me to fuck off at any time uh, if I'm pushing your buttons <laughs> too much. And so I'll just remind people like, hey, reminder, you can tell me to fuck off. And sometimes my clients have like looked up at me from this place and been like, fuck off. And I'm like, all right, cool. Great. Never mind. We'll talk about something else. And I think this was that moment. I don't know what it is that's going on here, but the, the sense that I'm getting is that there is some like emotional hurt that she's not comfortable airing out on camera. And she's certainly not comfortable airing it out to him, but it's a barrier. And instead of going to fucking therapy to work on it, we went to the show because she wants to plow forward. And again, hit those boxes. The, the sense that I'm getting is that she views the idea of being married as the way to fix whatever sense of hurt is happening. That's not how it works. I'm picturing a little emotional armadillo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Last one. I'm stressed out that you're gonna end up liking somebody else. And I'm asking you to talk to me about how you feel, and you can't say anything, but you're stressed out about me liking somebody else. You gotta let me know when that makes sense to you. I mean, that don't, it don't make that don't make sense to me. I feel like I gave you the ultimatum. <laughs> like no, like for real. I'm serious. I want you to be emotional. I want you to pour out exactly how you feel about me. But if it's only I care about well. him, he knows that. If that is the energy from somebody that wants to be with me and you know spend the rest of rest of their life with me, I don't. I mean, I don't know if that's 
that's the correct energy to come by. I mean, I'm the one issuing the ultimatum. Okay, exactly. so I like that can push you away. And that's fine. You're issuing the ultimatum. I should be the person over here <laughs> shaking in my boots. You're saying if you're not ready to put a ring on my finger, I'm leaving. But you're you're supposed to be the worried one. This is our this is our last night together for I can a, a, show you better than I can tell you. I'm just gonna leave it at that. That was a pretty obvious power struggle that happened just there. Did you catch that? Because she is very upset by him issuing directives, kind of, and, like, voicing his needs. He's voicing to her, like, you're the one who's issuing the ultimatum here, but you're not giving me the emotional support that I need or the emotional buy-in that I'm looking for in this relationship. And she all of a sudden got real fucking defensive. I'm the one issuing the ultimatum. Her whole posture chip, like... Did you see it? Oh, yeah, yeah look. Oh, mm, told him. There's mm -hmm. something wonky happening here. And I think maybe we're using the institution of marriage as a power move. Something's not right here. You just, I mean, like, a, you just That's have how to, I'm feeling right now, so. That's not a feeling. Right. I mean, Feelings it's are crazy one word to or me less. she gave me an ultimatum, and she can't tell me, you know, how, how she feels about me. I can't believe this is... Oh, reality. it's all better now. We fixed it. And this is our last night together, and it can potentially change our, our lives forever. These situations make me want to ram my fucking head into a wall. I mean, you pretty much damn near did that when you hit yourself. Yeah, I did do that. Oh, speaking of titties. That's the hardest thing I mean, for yeah, me to see. All this is getting fucking I bad. know it's probably oh, yeah. the best thing for you. It's boring as fuck. <laughs> Spending this time with somebody else, I think will really tell you that I am the one for you. I know I need to be ready at the end of this, but that's not something that I can just push myself into. Don't and do. it's not something I'm going to pretend This shit to do. is so boring. It's this really shit is so boring. We the get it. You signed up for this thing. No one put a gun to your head. Right Today. I know. <laughs> also, the fact they're so close it's, to each other is like, so I bad. Netflix, again, fuck you. Yes. Respectfully. Disrespectfully. Her, friends call her like the next this is Obama. fuck She's always up. like talk. Can they hear? Do you think? They definitely can. can. They did this on purpose. So and also, just Actually, sound travels that. across water hella easy. My skin is gonna fall off. That's my line. Everything is always perfect. It's true though. It's true. Marriage for me is a financial decision and an emotional decision. If Hunter wasn't making enough money, I never would have guessed that from her. Away. I never would have guessed that from this woman. I think it's the first time I've said that out loud. I don't think Hunter's ever heard me say that. People are like, oh, you don't necessarily have to have that much money. I'm like, no, you do. I don't ever want to have Oh, she said that out loud. Where I have to pick, oh, I'm paying for this event. I like, there's ways to say that that don't sound all like that. She's looking for. Maybe, yeah. Ultimately, that's why, why I'm here. I, I don't think I would have come here if I was a hard no. She wants to have kids. I can tell she wants to have kids. Oh, okay. okay. Too much. She mentioned that a couple times, and she's scared that she's going to have to be the only one raising the kid. I feel like I'm a guy who can comfort those feelings she's having and hold her hand as she goes through them. Also, like, she said she doesn't want to have kids, so she... I think a safe so assumption is that she doesn't want to fucking have kids. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give her an ultimatum until so she has kids. There'll be the ultimatum and there'll be the ultimatum to yeah. having kids. Yeah. Literally. And I just, we had so much love, but so much love. I didn't act up. And you didn't want to do anything that would disappoint her because. Yeah. We just realized, I just realized, I never hit the big fucking green button to hit record. <laughs> so if the audio is weird. Baby! Oh. Okay, well, I'm pressing it now. No, don't press it now. It doesn't matter. We'll do it on the next one. I'm sorry. I, I'll fix it. I'll. <laughs> I'll make magic I'm glad, on I'm glad that I've been yelling for most of this episode. Honestly, honestly I was kind of worried about that because I was like, I'm definitely going to fucking... Just here for looks. <laughs> Press play. Oops. Oh, wow. Accident. Disappoint her because yes. you loved her so much. And I appreciate her. That yep. was my relationship with my mom. So I never, I, I never <laughs> had to sit there and be like, 
She would never like you're grounded for a week or even yeah, two weeks or something like that. Yeah. 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 There's no button. I was gonna press the button earlier. There's, there's, there's no number there. there. I was like, no, oh, the title. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's very weird um, to be dating other women. My last date was four or five years ago, and I definitely love April. Then it's it's very scary to have this type of connection so quick. But Ray literally hits every single thing I need in a girl plus more. Except that she also wants to have kids, like, right now. Well. That's so crazy that we have that much in common. Yeah. So, like, he doesn't want to have kids. Have this with with her, but not with. Uh-huh, I guess. What guy would you be most nervous about your ex living with out of everybody here? This guy right here. Wow. Really? really? Just look. Oh, oh, we got same, the same style? style? Oh, we got the same everything. He's gonna, okay, okay. He's gonna find and I got to say the same. Okay, yeah. okay. This is this is a good game. Name <laughs> your favorite sex position or take a drink. Oh. Uh... I like to hit it from the back. <laughs> Touche. Touche. There we go. Colby, you gonna drink to that or? Yeah, I'm gonna drink to that. Okay. One. Because I don't have a favorite, you know. Oh. What guy has your, most of y'all's attention right now? Oh God. I would say. I would say Colby. All right. <laughs> I have been in a relationship for two and a half years and haven't been in the dating scene for a while, but I do have my eye on Colby. And to know the girls here like him, I'm definitely feeling like the pressure is on. I'm ready to drink. Oh, take a drink. <laughs> OK, OK. All of them drinking? Randall. Randall? OK. <laughs> Oh my God, so honest, I love it. I have not been single probably since I was 18, 17, 18 years old. I think it's toxic, but I'm excited. I'm That's not toxic. Not. It's it's not. My eyes oh, on Randall. Sad. Yeah, it's been fun. That game was like super fun. We need to do more like games. I love that. I'm all about the games. Really? Yeah. But I think that icebreaker definitely helped me understand a little bit more. Yeah. Especially knowing who thought what about who they were most interested in yeah. and who they weren't. What did you think about my answer? It surprised me. Really? Yeah, it surprised me. Um, yeah, we had a good discussion. You know, I don't think I would see a future with you good in on you for not on Good country. honesty. It's really hard to like, go from what we had today you didn't to have like... anything but I can't I can't see a future I didn't get that that internal feeling but that's fair that's fair that's no, I'm, I mean that thought our date went well clearly it was all lip service because we're having Bullshit. a first date communicate and you just nexted me as if that was even an option it is an option that's how the show works that's the option right Ooh! <laughs> so, how you feeling you know, shit. after everything? Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? Feeling good. I was that like, was not bad, honestly. People don't take rejection. Common, no. like, the last bit of the you know, show is so fucking, fucking boring. This is boring. This is boring, this is boring as fuck. Really? I am I'm bored. Like, Does she? Are they allowed to fuck on the first day? I really like think about it. Baby. Fair question. Never go tell. Trying to be open to everything. Also, yeah, cheap trying. production cost. They didn't even get to go to process, you know, Mexico or nothing. I don't know. I just, that was a like crass opening, question. So, Same. Yeah. <laughs> I hear Jake laughing, and I just was like, OK, what the hell could possibly be so funny? Who brought you here? <laughs> it's nerve wracking to feel that, you know, Jake's also single, and to see him dressed up all nice, and I've never seen him dressed this nice before. Yeah, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit jealous. This is a whole different Jake, and I'm like trying to keep my eyes off of him. I felt pretty comfortable with you right off yeah. the bat, which is always a good sign. So. Yeah. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. You, know, all that you, get, stuff. you get me. Do we I get have to talk? We no, can just we look don't. at each other. Yeah, I can just like, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is weird. It's yeah. scary. It's a little weird. scary. It's, a little it's, scary. It's, it's like it makes me a little bit scared, but I'm just well, kind it of. Makes it makes me kind of feel bad. You know what I mean? Because oh, I was with yeah. this other relationship for the last, and I'm like. I know. Ray. She's someone that checks off every single box. Except that she also wants to get married and have level. kids like right it's now. It's scary how comfortable we are with each other. Um, she is the one that gave the ultimatum and she does want to get married right away. I'm myself am not ready to marry April right now. But maybe I can change for the right person.
What's the next one? So that like shit is thing. fucked up. That's See what I'm saying? Hurtful. Woo wee! Ouch. But yeah, it's uh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's cool. How's everybody? Can we squeeze in with y'all? No! No! This I told you the last five cool. minutes. This is not cool. No! No! Go That's back to your problem. seat. Get back. Where's the water bottle? No! 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 I knew it. Damn, a Netflix, that show was boring as fuck for the last 45 minutes. Yeah, what it was, was Netflix, up? what the fuck? Okay, I need to move this mic out of my way since there's no audio coming out of it. Our neighbors probably think we're crazy, just fucking screaming. Yeah, in our, our guest bedroom all the time. Wrap us up, baby. Okay. Don't say that on camera. <laughs> oh, so I can say it other times. Most definitely. <laughs> 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 now you need to leave that in. Okay. I, in the videos. <laughs> <laughs> I am confident that we're going to get into more fuckery the, the more that the season goes on. But I have to say, the first episode was a little bit of a nothing burger. <sighs> I am a little bit sad because I was hoping for more drama. I'm sure that it's going to get messy, though, because my, my feeling is that all of these people have, um, like all of us, again, this is not a shameful thing, but my sense based on the highly curated blah, 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 that there's a lot of emotional work to be done here and a lot of insecurity to be worked through on all sides. And I think it's going to create some really explosive interactions. Um, there's going to be a lot of jealousy and just like a lot of... Especially all the group. It's let not, them date yeah. separately. Just let yeah. them date separately. This is fucked up. It does feel very much, again, like Netflix is doing the thing where they're putting people in this environment with the intention of creating as much inflammatory interaction with each other as with possible. Alcohol. Yes, for the sake of making good TV, which is a problem. Because, again, I want to be clear, I don't agree with this fucking show premise generally, but I super don't agree with the way that Netflix is organizing it on top of the fact that the show is problematic because these people are having to date each other in very close quarters. All these people who are like very committed to this idea of monogamy and marriage and babies and like all this stuff, their worldviews are being challenged in really difficult and scary ways right on top of each other while their partner is laughing with some other person right behind them. Like that's overwhelming I think for anyone but especially if there is like insecurity and then like weird personal emotional stuff that needs to be worked on this is just like not an okay thing for Netflix to be doing to people I think and again like I know that these are all adults who consented they signed the paperwork to be on this show but I just don't know how I feel about Netflix because they're the people who have the disproportionate amount of power in this situation and it, it's not I think it's disingenuous to assert that People who sign the consent forms have the same amount of power that Netflix does. You know, like that's not the same. Yeah. So I just don't, I don't like it. That's, that's it. For what it's worth, I don't like it either. Yeah. I do very much want to give the caveat that I gave, um, or gave earlier that this show should not be like the measuring stick for anyone's relationships, especially if it just doesn't resonate with you. It is very much okay for you to choose uh, relationship styles yes. and structures and norms and values that resonate with you and feel safe for you regardless of whether that mirrors what we see as like the societal norms or what that looks like on this tv show because there again it's like a whole wide world of people and relationships and like cultures that will provide a feeling of safety and stability and security and like that's super valid just makes more sense to look at it like a spectrum yeah, I mean, we, like, embrace the idea of, like, a, a spectrum in terms of, like, gender and sexuality and sexual orientation. So why would it not make sense? Yeah, and just, so, like, I think this is sense. just another aspect of that. Like, I really want to encourage people to free themselves from the expectation of relationships looking a particular way when they really don't have to. So, thoughts and prayers for the next episode, because I have a feeling it's going to be rough. But, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this. Please let me know what your thoughts and feelings are. And, again, let us know. Be nice. To my They're life gonna be nice. partner. They're gonna be nice. Huh? It's, it's the internet. I'm cool with taking a hit from the internet, but I... I'll take a hit too. I know, but I don't want people... Like, I'm used to getting bullied by the internet. I don't want you to get bullied by the internet. You know what I mean? I was gonna say some fucked up shit, but... What? Yeah. No, nothing. What? Say it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, fair. But yeah, let me know what your um, thoughts and feelings are in the comments. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Do you have any last thoughts? Anything else you want to say? Sorry, I talked right over top of you. I'm just here for the. I'm just here for the vibes. Thanks for letting me be on the channel, babe. <laughs> I got to um, sit in a real chair today. Yeah, you did. It was so comfy. Thank God for your poor tailbone. Yeah, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel because we have content like this and we do other uh, like therapist react style stuff. And if you want to listen to us talk more at each other, yeah, podcast on the Patreon. Yeah, link um, in the link description. Below. Yeah. Can I say it? 
description. Link in the description. And uh, share the video to help the channel grow and to help each other grow. And I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye, okay. guys. We did it. Thank you.